Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. It is pitch black dark out and that's so weird. I guess I haven't noticed that with um, fall coming or well fall is really here. But it's like oh it's pitch black out. Holy cow. Where does our day go? Hi Karen, hi Tundra, Connie, welcome. I see uh, Brent coming in and Donna and Julie. How is your Sunday going? I am happy to report. I've got a lot of things to tell you about, but my Sunday is going fantastic. I have gotten a lot accomplished. Anytime I like am getting things done, I'm like winning, winning, winning. <laughs> so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, let's see. I can update you guys on my hunting trip as we're waiting for everybody to come in. I hate to start too soon because then people miss stuff, right? So um, Steve and I went up north to my mom's house hunting last week and uh, let's see, we went up Wednesday morning and we were planning on staying till Saturday but we actually came home on Friday morning. The weather just did not cooperate at all. Like it was having none of it. So that was kind of a bummer. I'm going to get myself pulled up here on my screen so I can see your comments when I turn you around. Um, so yeah, it was, it was just very annoying and hang on a second. I'm thinking, thinking is hard. <laughs> I'm using my new iPad and if you guys don't know this, I don't know anything about iPads. Like I know nothing. Hmm. Here we go. I found myself. And um, the weather, it was just too windy. It was really cold. When I got up there, I don't know, I just didn't feel that great last week um, with the whole ear, inner ear thing going on and whatever. So I slept a lot. Like, the drive over there is like two hours. And I took a nap on the way over. I wasn't driving. Let's just make that perfectly clear. And then um, once we got there, I laid down in the afternoon and took a nap. And I slept for like three hours. And then I went to bed at like 11, which is unheard of if I take a nap that long. And then on um, Thursday and Friday, I did the same things. I woke up late. I took naps. I went to bed early. And so I just got a lot of sleep. And I think that's exactly what, you know, your body needs when you're trying to heal from some weird crud. And um, you can see my smile is better. It's not perfect. My eye is blinking. It's not closing all the way. But you know what? I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I am fine. So I started doing some things. I've been taking all the medicine that they prescribed me. But I also started doing some other um, things to build up my immune system. Because I figure, you know, the COVID probably has it chopped down pretty good. So I'm working on it. And I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all the advice that you give me. And it's kind of cute because almost all of you will apologize when you email me or message me. And you'll say, I'm really sorry, but I noticed that this and you said that. And so I want to tell you this. You don't have to apologize to me. I appreciate your advice. I am not a medically person. I'm not medically. I'm not medically. <laughs> That's not my game. Um, so I really know nothing about any of it. And most of it goes in one ear and out the other because... It's just not something that I'm good at. I make pretty cards. <laughs> um, so when you give me advice, don't apologize. I will take all of your advice. And and just know that, you know, as you guys always say, you know, like, well, you know, you can take this with a grain of salt or I will pick and choose what's going to work for me out of your advice. But I really appreciate your advice. I just want you to know that. I know I've got a lot of nurse people out there and a lot of retired nurses and currently practicing nurses and I so appreciate your advice. So don't ever apologize to me for giving me advice. I'm always open to advice. Most of the things I've learned in my life have been from advice, right? I think we can all kind of say that. Um, some of them have been, I've, I've learned from mistakes. Um, some of them I've learned from opening my mouth when I should keep it closed. <laughs> Who's done that? <laughs> We're all guilty, right? But most of the things I've learned in life is from advice. So I really just want you to know that I appreciate your advice. Okay, I have a John update for you. It's nothing too exciting, but John has been getting his spook on next door. 
So he has this tree in his front yard and every year for Halloween, um, he will hang spiders in this tree and the spiders are about this big and they're furry and so they're hanging all over his tree and he was out there with his grandson today and they were hanging up the spiders, getting all their spooky stuff put up and then they decorate the front of their house and it just looks really cool. So that was fun to see. I asked Steve if he had anything on John, like anything happening with John, Steve. And so this is Steve's co conversation with me. He's like, no, it's been pretty quiet next door. But I want to know what that pod is in the house across the street. <laughs> so, in their driveway across the street. I don't know those people. They've got one of those big trailer pods. Like you would move all your stuff out of your house and maybe take it someplace or move it out of your house to do some remodeling and then put it back in. I don't know. But anyways, we now have a pod across the street and I will find out. I will get to the bottom of the pod. I promise. <laughs> um... Oh, back to my hunting trip, squirrel. Um, so I never went hunting. I didn't even go out. It was too cold and I tend to be a, well, you guys know I have hot flashes, but when I'm not hot, having a hot flash, I'm cold all the time. So sitting out in a tree with it blowing and cold and damp and windy just didn't, didn't enthuse me at all. So I didn't even go out. Steve was really crabby on Friday because he only went out a couple times and it was not good. So our hunting was like kind of a bust, but we're thinking about going back up this week. So as long as I keep all my eggs in a row, I will be able to do that. And I'm excited about that. I think I have to change my glasses, you guys, because I can't see the comments on my phone with those glasses. It's the weirdest thing. Anywho. Oh, you love the sign behind me. Thank you, Diana. I was digging around trying to find all of my decorations because I have different decorations that I like to put back here at different seasons. And I did happen to locate that one. I love it too. Isn't it pretty? And then the little pumpkin. This little pumpkin is just a, I know it looks really fancy. It's just a styrofoam pumpkin covered in glitter. It's got some, it's got some battle wounds, but yeah, I think it's just cute, right? So, um, did you guys see the pictures of my new bedroom? I absolutely love it, although as I was looking at it today, I noticed that we had a wall built in there for the walk-in closet that was just an open space in the room. And as I was looking at the room today, I'm like, huh, my ceiling fan is no longer in the middle of my ceiling. So I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, whatever. I have a brand new room. I have brand new flooring, brand new windows. Steve hates the curtains that I hung in there. I just hung up one set. They're too long. I need to hem them up. And um, he hates them. Like he's just adamant that he hates my white curtains. They're stupid, he said. <laughs> yeah, Haley says, John, spiders in the trees are the bomb. And so I told Steve, I said, Steve, this is the look that I'm going for. This is a whole style that I'm doing in the house now. And besides, Haley, you'll love this. I said, I consulted Haley and she told me to get white curtains. He's like, I don't care, they're stupid. <laughs> so we finally got to the end of it where I said, it's too bad, the curtains stay. I pulled a rank and you know I can do that. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Hunting, nothing happened. I do have an ordering special going on until or through October 31st with your orders. When your order reaches $150, I am going to be, I thought I had it out here, but I don't, sorry. Um, I'm going to be gifting this Merry Hello stamp set. And I know this is backwards in the screen, but um, you can see the images, super, super cute. As a little thank you for your order. I appreciate that. And you guys know that I always send out thank you cards with every order placed with me. That is super important to me that I am acknowledging how much I appreciate you. So um, you'll get a homemade card in the mail too. And let's see what else. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the ads on YouTube. I've gotten a few people that have been telling me that my latest video or the video three times ago had four or three different ads in it. So I don't get to control the ads, not only the ads, but I don't get to control how many ads are put into my videos. And for those of you that may not know, I know a lot of people don't, um, you would have no reason to know this. YouTube pays us as YouTubers. So you know how gamers can make millions of dollars and 
you know, whoever, Cardi B has a YouTube channel and she gets paid by YouTube and makes a million dollars a year. Well, we don't even come close to that. Not even close. But we do get to make money off of YouTube. So every time you watch one of my videos, I make like three or five cents per view. I don't even know for sure what it is. But the reason why I make that money is because I have set up to be, um, to have those ads in my videos. So the ad people are paying me through YouTube. So I just wanted to let you know, I have no control over the content. If it is a political ad, whether it's on the Republican side or the Democrat side, I have no control over that. I don't have any control where the ads are placed. I don't have any control about what they're about. But please watch my videos because every time you do, I get a few cents and that helps me out. All those videos are free, so it helps me pay my bills. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. And then, um, for those of you that have placed orders with me, you should be in my VIP Facebook group. And I have been sharing a whole bunch of stuff on there over the last couple weeks. I did a Facebook Live in there, special, that's a private group. And um, I know that I heard from so many of you that you loved it. I'm planning on doing another one this year, this year, this week. Oh my God, this year, yeah. Um, I'm planning on doing another one this week. Now, if you have ever placed an order in my online store, that means you go to my Stampin' Up! store and you buy product from me. Or if you have ordered the bundle or the product suite with one of your online classes that you've ordered from me, that's product. If you have done that, then you qualify to be in my VIP group. And I just wanted to clarify, if you're ordering online classes from me, I love you, but you have to order from my store to get into the VIP group. And I just wanted to make sure everybody understands that. If you're not in my VIP group and you have placed an order, please contact me so I can get you in there. <laughs> Haley says, Ma, talk about Val. She is the star, not you. So Little Miss Val is all over the place. And Steve actually cleaned up the living room today because Val was here last night. And um, she, like, is into shoving everything off of the tables. She stood up on the chair, there's a table in between our chairs, and she threw everything on the floor. So he went in there today and he said, she can't come over anymore. She has made a complete mess. All I'm doing is picking up after her. <laughs> but she laid in his lap, she held her own bottle, which was just crazy. Um, she is motoring all over the place and just so curious. It's so fun to just watch her reach for something and touch it and you can see her thinking about it and that whole process is just so precious but yeah she is and I get to babysit tomorrow I'm granny sitting tomorrow afternoon so I'm excited about that which means again I have to keep all my eggs in a row so I have a team meeting tomorrow night those of you that are on my team team meeting tomorrow night 6 p.m. via zoom we've got two great demonstrations coming um, one of them is faux patina and the other one is a super cool fun fold. I can't hardly wait to see this. Now, my team members volunteer. So we've got Jay and Kathy that are volunteering to do demonstrations in our team meeting tomorrow night. If you are not with Stampin' Up! as a discount shopper or a business builder, you can do whatever you want with it. I highly recommend it. It's so much fun being part of something bigger. Right now... We have a special promotion coming out. This is called Curvy Celebrations. We've got some sample cards here. This is part of um, a whole product suite. And you can order, let's see, you can order this. Yep, you can order this whole thing as part of your starter kit. The entire thing, two stamp sets, dies, and paper is $70.50. You can join my team, you can order this. Check it out, see if you like it. It's a lot of fun. I am going to be making up some <clears throat> cool samples with this soon, but it's not available to the public, you guys, until November 3rd. So if you if that's not something you're interested in, you'll be able to get this November 3rd. And this is gonna last through January 4th. Um, the dyes in here. Look at I love border dyes. We're gonna be working with some border dyes tonight, and I just think they're the coolest thing ever. So that's Curvy Versus. Oh, let me show you the paper. I haven't even opened this yet. I have three packs of it here so that I could make some great samples. Ready? 
lots of Christmas patterns and neutral patterns too. And I love it when Stampin' Up! does that because you don't have to make Christmas cards with these, right? Very, very pretty. I'm, I'm just excited about this. I'm excited about playing with some new products too. Okay, let me move this off to the side. I'm happy to report that my office is still clean. Boom. And I've got my Halloween shirt on. Wicked. So I put the Halloween shirt on tonight because I have these cute little bat earrings that I wanted to wear. And they match with the purple and the green and the black. I put one on and one of its wings is broken off. So now I don't have any Halloween earrings. <laughs> so Sarah Simon, she's also one of my friends, one of my team members. She gave me these, I think, for Christmas a long time ago. And they are little martini glasses. And it's from her friend's um, gift shop. So they have green in them. My shirt has green in it. We're good to go. Martinis, bats, same thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to get... Oh, I have to show you guys. Look at this. This is my cover for my brand new, what do you call this, um, iPad. I've never had an iPad before. Steve has one, and I, you know, I've never really used it, so I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, you scared me. <laughs> Steve just came in. Don't trip on anything. Yeah, well, There's lots of things happening. <laughs> Hi. We have a special guest tonight, I guess. How are you all of you? I miss you. Eh. Cute shirt. He looks like a lumberjack. Yeah. I'm yeah. lumberjacking it tonight. Yeah. But <clears throat> it's hunting season, but we will come and see you in the warm places that you live. Oh, yeah. We're going to be um, going some warm places this winter. Definitely. So I hope that I'll get to pop in on some of you. Love you. <laughs> have fun. Thanks. I was just telling him about my iPad. And he scared me to death. <laughs> Anyways, new iPad. Oh, look, I shut it off. Darn it. See, I don't know how to do this. So, um, there we are. I'm back. Yay! I'm going to set this right in front of me so that I don't have to look so far over here to see your comments. I think that'll really help, help me. But I got this free, almost free. I think I had to pay $35 for the iPad because um, I used my Flex Points. We get... We, that program is over. We've got a new program going now, but we got flex points from Stampin' Up, which gives you free um, things that you can buy. And I bought Apple gift cards. Yay me! <laughs> okay, what else is coming up? Um, let's see. Oh, I have to tell you about Val. Her newest thing. Are you ready for this? This is her newest thing. <laughs> she likes to do this with her arm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wrote that down because I thought that was pretty funny. So, that's Val in a nutshell. She has to get shots tomorrow morning. So, Haley asked if I would granny sit. Key West, maybe, Marsha. We might be coming to Key West. Florida is on my list for sure. Um, Connie, not so much Marquette in the winter, but we are going to Iron Mountain, Michigan skiing in January. Woo woo! Taking um, Little Miss Molly, and then Haley and Jared and Val and Molly's older sister Andy might come with us, and me and Steve. So... Iron Mountain, Michigan, we're coming ski in January. And then we're going someplace warm. <laughs> um, upcoming online classes in November. My online class that I do with my friends Dina and Barb. We are going to be using the Curvy Celebration. So watch for that. This is going to be an exceptional online class. And then in... And you guys know when you join my team, you get all my online classes for free, right? And I give you a special price on the pre-cut cardstock packs to make the cards. Boom. Um, in December, we're going to be using the In the Pines bundle. And December is a little late to be, you know, trying to figure out Christmas cards. So we've decided that we are going to do the In the Pines, not Christmas masculine, anything but besides Christmas. So it's going to be an awesome class. Again, that's going to be my online class in December with Barb and Dina. And then for November, my kit class that I do with Ashley out of Canada, we're going to be using this little cutie patootie set. This is called Freezing Fun. It's got dies and a stamp set. Watch for that. Okay. I think we can... Oh, nope. We got to do prizes. Thank you guys for your patience. Sometimes I have a lot of things to tell you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have that many things to tell you. Um, 
Prizes from last week. There's three ways to get prizes. The first way is to leave a comment. So if you're new to me tonight, please make sure that you leave a comment. Anything. You can just say, hi, Kelly. You can say, hi, from Albuquerque. You can say, hi, from whatever. Leave a comment so you get entered in the drawing to win prizes. For commenting last week, I have Renee Paris from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Renee, you're going to get some of these elegant faceted gems. These are beautiful, and I will drop these in the mail to you as soon as you send me your address. I do not have your address. Renee Paris, P-A-R-I-S-E, and your Facebook profile says you're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, congratulations. The second way that you can win fabulous prizes is by sharing this video. And right now, as you're watching me, you can click someplace on your screen on your device and click that share button. You're going to share this to your personal profile. And if you just say share, that's where it goes. You want to share it to your personal profile and that will get you entered to win another fabulous prize. <laughs> this is the Flowers for Every Season Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. So we have an, assorted, an assortment of pre-printed cards here that you can layer up and stamp on, plus matching envelopes. And this goes out to Debbie Foster. Debbie is from Bismarck, Arkansas. I always get that confused. A-R-A-Z-A. -A yeah, it's Arkansas. So Debbie, congratulations. Debbie is also one of my team members. So yay, Debbie. And then for placing an order each week with me, I enter everybody's names into a drawing. And I have the Little Ladybug stamp set. And I did look up her account with me to make sure she doesn't already have this. But this is a fabulous little stamp set. I am awarding this to Cynthia Jacobson of Boise, Idaho. This baby is on its way to you tomorrow. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to enter to win. Everybody loves prizes, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I see Bridget Witty coming in. Hi, Bridget. Uh, let's see. I think that we are ready to flip this baby around and start some stamping. I'm ready to stamp. What is this? Okay, that's what I'm going to be stamping tonight. <laughs> um, who got your paper pumpkin kits? Did you get your paper pumpkin kits yet? Because I have mine here and I would like to show it. So if you do not want to see the paper pumpkin kit, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. If you don't want to see the paper pumpkin kit, as soon as I turn my camera around, we're going to open the box up and look at it. So you can just turn your head so you can keep it a secret and a surprise until you get it. All right, you guys, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes and I will tell you when you can open them up. We're going to get this all situated. Oh, hang on. I did something. Oh, there we go. Sorry, you guys. I touched something. It did not like it. I haven't done that in a long time. So, whew. hallelujah. Okay. I think we are ready to roll here. You can open your eyes back up. This is the no October Joy to the World Paper Pumpkin Kit. Comes in this pretty little box. I love these boxes. And this is, let me see if I can find a piece of white paper here so you can see this a little better. Look at this stamp set. Oh my gosh, love this wreath. Love these flowers. Now, while this is centered around Christmas, you can clearly see that this flower doesn't have to be Christmas at all, okay? And you can use any words that you want with this, but how pretty is this? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different stamps in here. You get this kit every month. Um, it's like, I don't know, 21 or $22. It comes with at least one ink spot, okay? Your very first kit comes with a block. So this is perfect to give as a gift with the holidays coming up. I know that I have gifted this to my niece um, various times throughout the year and she absolutely loves it. And then you get this whole pack of goodies that you get to make these cards with. And I haven't opened mine yet so I'm going to get it open here. And right in the front this sheet right here pulls out. This shows you what Stampin' Up! has intended for this. Look at the lined envelopes. And then it gives you instructions. Now every month Stampin' Up! also puts out a video showing you in a video how to make these cards. 
And one of my fun things that I like to do with this is I like to make alternate ideas for the paper pumpkin kit. I'm not getting that back in there. <laughs> and um, that's one of my fun things to do. So I'll make alternate ideas, and I do that with a bunch of my demonstrator friends, and then we share them with our Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So I usually give about 15 to 20 different ideas for each month's kit. So let's say you don't need a bunch of Christmas cards. Well, you're going to have a whole bunch of ideas for all kinds of other cards that you can make with this kit. So that's really fun. Oh, look at the cards. These are the card bases. They're all scored for you. Now you're going to find a link to my Paper Pumpkin store on my blog. I'll also put one on my Facebook page above this video when we're done. Look at how pretty those are. These are all die cut for you. You just pop them right out. Love these. And um, you can order a one month, a three month, a six month, or a 12 month Paper Pumpkin subscription. Or you can go into mypaperpumpkin.com and look for me, Kelly Atchison. And you can subscribe monthly. So it just comes every month. Stampin' Up will bill your card. You can put it on hold. If you're going to be gone for a month or you don't want to get it like during July because it's a super busy month for you or whatever, you can put it on hold. You can restart it. You can do whatever you want with it. But it's awesome. And again, fabulous gift, especially with people being stuck at home right now with this darn COVID. This is a great gift, the kind of gift that keeps on giving, gives them some entertainment. Okay. I'm going to be working on my alternate paper pumpkin ideas this week. I can't hardly wait. It's always, I, I just enjoy it. I think it's super fun to, the challenge of coming up with something different. Now, tonight, we are going to be working with the Sweetest Time Bundle. This is my latest kit class. Um, I do still have these available for registration. I think I'm going to be cutting ordering stuff this week and cutting it, but I usually order a few extras, so don't worry about that. I have some people that'll email and say, hey Kelly, I know that you said Monday you were gonna order, but do you have some extras, can I order? If the button is still open, you can order. And that means when you click on it, it goes someplace. <laughs> okay, Cherry Cobbler ink. I've also got some Stampin' Blend markers here. And the beautiful all the trimmings ribbon combo pack and our wonderful gems. Now anytime I'm working with a whole stamp set like this, like I'm going to sit down and design cards with this bundle, I always like, oh look, some blue glitter paper. I'm going to save that because it's pretty, right? <laughs> I like to mount up all my stamps. If you have enough blocks to do that, I highly recommend it because it just makes it easier to keep moving along, right? So I've got all my stamps mounted. I have another card I can share you that or show you that I made the other day with this bundle too. But first thing we're gonna do is get out our bits and pieces. Let me move some stuff around here, make sure I'm set up. All right, here we go. Boom. Now this is the Tis the Season Designer Series paper. So if you are interested in this kit, when you order the kit, you get a whole pack of this Designer Series paper. You get two different ribbons, green and red, in this combo pack. You get the wonderful gems. You're also going to get one of our little pizza boxes, the gold foil pizza boxes. That's a bonus project that goes in there. And also a half a pack of the green and red foil sheets. So you get a half a pack of this. These will be cut to six by six. This paper comes six by six. Did I get everything? I think I did. Okay, you have the option to add on the stamp set. Okay, the kit is $51. You have the option to add on the stamp set and the dies for an additional $55, I think. Now, when you add on the stamp set and the dies, that then qualifies you to be in my VIP group if you're not in there. So, just something to keep in mind. And this looks too small. And it is. I just looked at this and I thought, this is not four and a quarter. That is not four and a quarter. So, hang tight while I grab another piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. We're going to bring in our handy dandy paper cutter here. And I'm going to put this up to four and a quarter, cut it, 
and then move that cutting blade out of there. How many of you have went to score and have actually cut? Yeah. Then we're going to score this at five and a half. Anytime you have a tall card like this, this is a this is a hot dog card. This is a hamburger card. <laughs> no, anytime you have a tall card like this, you want to score it because your paper does not like to fold this way, and then you get the wrinkles. Does that make sense? I know I haven't talked about that in a very long time, but it's the truth. Okay, bone folder. And I'm gonna get this out of the way because that's wrong. Okay. Thank you, Debbie Bach. Debbie is referring me to referring you to my blog. My blog address is www.stampabove.com. This is my current host code. I just made this new host code. If you use that when you're ordering, when your order is under $150, it really helps me out. It allows me to get all the free things that I give away. If your order's over $150, remember you'll get that um, very merry, a merry hello stamp set for free as a gift. Plus, you'll get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those rewards. But when your order's under $150, you don't accumulate any rewards. Okay, let me grab one of my piercing mats. This is just a piercing mat, we call it. I sell these. I wrap it with printer weight paper, tape it on the back so I don't stamp all over it. And this is the surface that I like to. Somebody just said, Marsha said that I looked up your VIP group, but it won't let me in to see if my name is there. It's not going to let you in if you're not in it. So pop me an email, Marsha, and we'll get you in there. If you go to look up my VIP group and you can't get in, that means you're not a member in there and we need to make you a member. And I know you belong in there. So thanks for asking, Marsha. I'm glad you're mentioning that to me. Okay, um, I'm just reading some... <laughs> Kathy says, yep, just cut instead of scored today. I know, don't you hate that? Because it's like a whole sheet and you're like, Bleh! hate it, hate it. All right, next we have, let's see, I'm going to bring in my designer paper here. This is the Tis the Season designer paper. One of the things I love about this paper is it's all very small print for the most part, except the bells and maybe the trees and a couple of these. Real little prints that work perfect for the backgrounds of your Christmas cards. So, Tis the Season Designer Series Paper. I've got a piece here that's four by five and a quarter. And then another piece that is three quarters by four. My inside whisper white layer is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a one by four inch layer for the inside. I've got a couple little banners here. These are just a little bit less or around three-eighths of an inch by whatever. We're going to cut them down. I've got two here, and that's double jeopardy. If I screw this one up, I can turn it over and try. Screw that up, I can do this one. We've got four chances here tonight, and then we lose. No, I'm just kidding. Nobody loses in stamping. We've got lots of paper. And then I have another little strip of cherry cobbler, and this is... Just a little bit less than half by whatever. We're going to cut that down. Okay, I think the first thing that we're going to do here is get the inside of our card stamped up. And I'm going to be using the sentiment that says, Bright and Peaceful Wishes to You This Christmas. Cherry Cobbler ink. And we're going to stamp that straight. Yay! And right in the middle. <laughs> Winning! And then next, we're going to take that strip of designer paper and the one-inch strip of, hang on, make sure I don't have red all over, and the one-inch strip of cherry cobbler. And we're going to adhere this right to the back. And this is going to be our decoration on the inside of our card. Yeah, I'm down here. Steve just came in with pizza. <laughs> Steve just brought Steve just brought pizza in. Yay! <laughs> well, she burns a lot of calories talking. So I had to bring her some energy. You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> I burn a lot of calories talking. Thank you. Pizza for supper. Oh my gosh, you guys. Steve made some beef stew. Yesterday, he makes the most amazing stew. It was so good. And then I made 
some apple crisp and oh that was delicious I needed to put more butter in it though so we decided next time more butter okay here we go I know everybody's going yum I'm sorry if you haven't eaten yet and I'm making you hungry I did have some beef stew and some apple crisp did I say crisp or cobbler I don't make cobbler I make apple crisp I think I said crisp look at how pretty that is you guys just use up your scraps down here to really spruce up the insides of your cards. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we are going to, oh, let's get our stamping out of the way. This tiny little white strip, I'm going to grab um, All is Calm, All is Bright. And this fits on here just perfect. Let's see if I can stamp it perfect. I think I'm a little crooked. Oh, not too bad. Look at that. All right. Kelly is winning tonight. Okay, we're going to close this up. We're going to get these little pieces together, and I'm going to show you, like, the guts of this card because it's really, really, oh, shoot, really cool. We're going to trim this off, and I'm going to just trim this at a bit of an angle there. And then we're going to do the same to the other side. I'm still a little pretty shaky, but I'm off the real high doses of prednisone now, so that's good, right? <laughs> and here we go. So this is just a tiny little sentiment strip that I thought was going to look really cool on the front of our card. And then you're just going to trim that and trim this. And oftentimes I like to do this with the long skinny sentiments because, well, it just looks nice. Okay, we're just going to set that aside now. You're also going to need a piece of mint macaron. And this piece is four by three and a quarter. I'm going to tilt my, there we go. Okay. Oh, thank you. Sandy just said she loves my bracelet. This, I have had this forever and I do too. It's like one of those weird little movable type chain things and it's tied in a knot. I love it too. Thank you. We're going to get out these fabulous border dies. These are the coolest, coolest thing ever. I love these. And what we're going to do with this now, I have to really look at this to make sure that I'm doing it right. You're going to take this piece and you're going to put, you see how there's holes through the dies on this side? Like there's a lot of um, open space and then these are more solid. If you look at these, these cut the whole edge, but these don't. So you're going to take this and run it through your die cutting machine with the solid images towards the bottom of this layer. And I decided not to do all this ahead of time because I wanted you to see that this, I wanted you to see this in action. Okay. Now I can't tell you enough good things about this new die cutting machine. Um, I was long overdue for a new one. Mine was very old and, of course, you know, used and abused like crazy. This new die cutting machine is so nice and smooth. And I think it's just a little bit tighter than my last one because it cuts with little effort. Everything is cut. I always like to look at the back, make sure that everything is cut out. Well, let's just set this aside. And you're just going to pull this. It's easier if you go to the back and look at this and pull your pieces off. And again, this is intricate, so make sure that you're being gentle with it. And this is what we have. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to stick it to this layer, okay? And I have done a little bit other work ahead of time because... I didn't want anybody falling asleep on me <laughs> while I'm making this card. We're going to use our die brush adapter to get out the bits and pieces because we need to die cut some more things here. Okay, so we've got all these pieces coming out. Yay! And these are the two that I just usually have to poke a little bit and get those out of there. There we go. Look at how nice this die works. Like, that's it. I love it when they're easy, right? Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to take a green scrap. 
This is our green foil, and we're gonna die cut some green leaves out of here. So again, this is just a scrap. You just make it as big as you need it to to run it through. And again, we're gonna look at the back. Looks good, everything looks like it's cut out. And pull this, look at that, perfect, right? Okay, now when you do this, we're gonna keep this part together. Hang tight, I don't want anything to fall. We're gonna put this into our box and we're gonna to try to kind of keep track of these leaves a little bit because we're gonna put this back together like a puzzle. It's not hard, but it's just easier if you keep your leaves where they're coming out. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. There we go, okay, look at that. Almost everything came out. Now, these little buggers we need these, or maybe we need them. I don't even know at this point. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do this. We're just gonna set those aside. They're sticking to me. You know what I noticed today, you guys? I noticed that I have not even gone and gotten my nails done at all. Did you guys notice that? I always, I, well, I hate getting my nails done, but I like having pretty fingernails, and I still have not, since the Rona started back in March, gotten my nails done and I quite frankly forgot to even look at them tonight to make sure that they were not all jaggedy because they're pretty you know they don't they're not strong <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put it okay so we can save this for something else now when you cut this die you've got a line right here you can cut this okay and Right here's another cut line, and you can cut this, and then you can layer this on the front of a card. All right, yeah, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? We're not gonna do that today, but my kit class does have a card similar to that. Now, uh, the next thing we need is just a touch of red. So if you look at the back of this die, the dots for the berries go right down the middle, so that's really all I needed to put in here for the red foil paper. And I'm just going to take a piece of temporary tape and hold that on there. Does anybody see my, oh there it is, my other cutting plate here. There we go. Hang on, my tape is not sticking. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it over like this. There. <laughs> That's better. It's always a better way, right? Oops, hang on. I moved it. Okay. Jeez, Kelly, it's really not that hard. Denise says she's not judging about the nails. I know, right? It's it just it is what it is. And I'll tell you something. A lot of people really enjoy going to the salon and getting their hair done and you know having the head massage and all the things and enjoy going and getting their nails done or going and getting pedicures. I have to tell you, I hate it all. I have no time for that. The only reason that I go get my hair cut is because I need a haircut. The only reason that I get my nails done is because I like pretty nails and they last for like three or four weeks. I don't have to do anything to them. So why? It's just better to have somebody else do it, right? The whole process, I hate. I'm so not about any of that. But you give me a good massage and uh, I do like that. <laughs> but hair, nails, blah. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just poking out the little polka dots. These are the little berries because I want to use those and I, I pretty much got them all out here. Let's see if that's a little berry. That one right there's a, I think that's a little berry. Did I have two pieces on there? Oh, look at I had two pieces of red. That's funny, I didn't even know that. 
Okay, so here's all our little bits and pieces. I want to keep track of those. All right, this is what we're going to do. You're going to adhere this layer down onto your designer series paper. And then we're going to bring in our green foil. And I'm just going to take a little look, see at this. This piece goes right in here. So you're going to add just a touch of glue, little dots of glue in the openings on the plaid paper. And then you're going to put this back in just like a puzzle, just like that. And this little piece right over here. Now I'm not making a million of these, but this would be a great card for a special person, right? Somebody that you know will really appreciate it. We're not probably mass producing this, but everything doesn't need to be mass produced. So you're just gonna put some glue in there and you're gonna tuck those back in there. Now I've already done that so that I wouldn't take in, you know, up all your time doing that. So I'm just gonna move this, I'll use that on another card. Here's what I have, okay? And I just put some tape on the back of here so that I could illustrate this for you. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in here. We're gonna put this all the way up to the top of our designer series paper. Oh my gosh, I just, look at how pretty that is. Do you love this? I just love this. I think it's so cool. Kathy says, hello everyone, I'm late. It's okay, don't worry. You can go back and catch up on all the fun stuff at the beginning. All right, so when I put in, I'm just gonna illustrate to you what I did here. I've got my little red berry dots. I left two of them not added yet. And what I did is I just went in and put some glue and then let's put that away. Here's my take your pick tool. I love, love, love using the putty end for all these little things. And you're just gonna drop this right in there Hold it down so it doesn't stick to the putty, so it'll stick to your little bit of glue. Look at how pretty that is. Is that not just so pretty? I'm gonna put a little bit of glue over here. I see this sticking up just a little bit. There we go. And then I think this little piece right here needs a little bit of glue. Now if you want to, you could use the die cut um, adhesive sheets, the adhesive sheets, not die cut, but the adhesive sheets to work with this. Look how pretty that is. What do you guys think? I love this. Thank you so much, Carol. Yes, this is inset. Carol says your inset work is so beautiful. Thank you. All right. Oh, you know what? I had a little note here. I had a little note your color might have been first. Did I do that? No, I did not. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna hang tight with this. Sorry, I'm all over the place. But um, things tend to get jumbled when I'm feeling good. <laughs> they get really messy when I'm not, but when I'm feeling good, I have more energy and then I flit around in that squirrel status a lot. We need 18 inches of ribbon. And so I've got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, about this much right here. So I'm gonna cut this off. now. This ribbon, we're gonna be using the green on the next card, but this ribbon is so pretty. It's only an eighth of an inch wide, but it's got um, gold edges. You could even say they would match up. They might be copper, I'm not even sure, but they're beautiful and they're metallic-y, which is always pretty. I'm gonna just grab a piece of scrap paper so I can keep my surface clean here. And because my card base, is cherry cobbler and my ribbon is real red, I want cherry cobbler ribbon. So we're gonna take our dark cherry cobbler stamp and blend alcohol marker. And like I said, I should have done this first. And I want you to see the difference. Can you, I hope you can see that in the camera. This is a brighter red, now we've got cherry cobbler. And you can turn this ribbon any shade of whatever that's darker than the ribbon itself, right? I haven't tried, you could make it black, you could make it probably navy, but we're also going to be coloring the ribbon on our next card and we're gonna use the green ribbon so you'll be able to see that too. The next card is a fun fold. Love fun folds. Okay, now we're gonna just set that over here and let this dry for a little bit because I should have done that first to let it dry. And I'm gonna grab myself 
a baby wipe because you know what red ink does to everything, right? Oh, Ginny says with she does hair and with all the new rules, it's been nerve wracking. I'll bet it has. And I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for all of you that have to work under these insane conditions, right? It, it's I know it's it's been a real struggle for a lot of people. And bless your heart to all of you that do work in places that that's crazy. Um, for me personally, stamping has been just as fantastic as ever. <laughs> I know, right? I'm really fortunate. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing. I don't know why I'm laughing. I shouldn't laugh. That wasn't, you know, I'm, you know, I mean well, right? But yeah, um, lots of people. Wait staff too. Like how do you bust your butt running around waiting on tables? when you have to wear this crazy mask that kind of restricts your breathing. It's not fun. I'm, I'm totally there with you. All right, we're gonna take our little sentiment layer here and we're going to add that right down here. Oops, make sure you get it on there straight. And then also as part of the kit class that I have, we have these wonderful gems. These things are so nice, you guys. They're red or clear with gold glitter flecks in them. Just beautiful. I'm going to take a big one and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And then a small one and put it right next to it. And another small one and put that right next to it. And of course you could sprinkle these around and do whatever you would like with them. But just that little bit of bling on the bottom I think kind of completes the whole look. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add this to the front. And I'm hoping that my ribbon is dry enough now. I love these colors together. I would have never put mint macaron with cherry cobbler like in a million years, would you? But look how pretty that is. Oh, I got it. It moved on me. Hang on. And now it's really stuck. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Hang on. Eh. Let your card dry before you're showing it off, Kelly. For Pete's sakes. I can't have this. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Everything's happening. It's because I laughed, right? No. It's karma. Karma's getting me. How many of you have done this? Or you put a card aside and then later go back to it and realize that it's all jacked up like this because you didn't allow it to dry before you started messing with it. Oh my lord, look at that. This is why we don't put a ton of glue on our cards. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna put glue on here this time. Now everything's sticking. <laughs> there's always a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. Let's see if Kelly can get her card front on straight. Oh yeah, Anne says she uses a heat gun to release adhesive and it comes right off. That's a really good idea and I did, I guess, know that. I've never done it, but somebody did tell me that. Okay, so, whew, save the day. Now we're going to grab this ribbon and we are going to tie a nice little bow up here at the top. And I always like to keep my ribbon from folding over. I don't like that when it, um, when it, mm, you know, turns around and it's backwards. Does that make sense? I think you guys know what I mean. Whew. There we go. Now, one thing about putting a bow directly on your card like this is that sometimes it doesn't really line up the way that you want to. Sometimes it's hard to get it nice and snug up there. So our best friend, you know I love me some mini glue dots, is a mini glue dot. And I'm just going to curl this little bugger up just like that. I'm going to take it on my take your pick tool and I'm going to add it right under my ribbon. 
and that's going to hold my bow right in place so it doesn't move. All right, you guys, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? Linda says, great recovery. Thank you. Linda says, she's been there, done that, but usually the opening is on the wrong side. I've done that too. Mm. Vicki says, how do you get your cards so straight? Let's talk about that for a moment. I'm glad you're asking me that. You're not the only one who has asked that. So, first of all, you have to make sure that your card stock is cut straight, right? That's half the battle. So, this is a quarter inch smaller than this. And what I do is I always start on the side over here. I'm looking at the cherry cobbler border next to my white, okay? Then I look at the top. Is my border over here the same as it is up here? If it is and your cardstock is cut straight, the rest is going to fall right into place. Plus, the other thing that I like to do um, is I like to use the liquid glue because if it's not in place, other than this disaster that I just did, you can slide it around a little bit. Um, that's why I really, really like the liquid glue. So look at this border and this border. If those two are the same, glance over here, everything else should be in place. Don't worry about that side. You, you got too much to do here, right? Just worry about this right over here. So, okay. And... Don't forget to decorate your envelopes. I use the same plaid paper here, two and a half by six. Add glue to your flap, trim it off from the back. Look at how pretty that is. I love this little sweet bundle. Not a sweet, it's a bundle. Okay, let me get some of this mess cleaned up here. And, oh, by the way, all of this kind of stuff that I cut out, like any extra bits and pieces that I might have, I like to just put them in my stamp case. When I put my stamps back in here, it's going to be fine. They'll still fit in here, but I can use these for other things if I don't finish them right away, right? And inside my little stamp case, I just found this leaf, and it was part of the cutout that comes out of this border die. And I am going to add this little leaf right in here as an embellishment. What do you think? Doesn't that just add a lot? It's all those little things that take your cards to the next level, right? Sometimes we can overdo the little things. <laughs> yeah, but most of the time it's okay. Okay, so let me clean this up. I have to, I think, get my stamps cleaned. This is my Stampin' Shammy, S-H-A-M-M-Y. I've had people look for them in the online store and spell it wrong and then they don't come up. This Shammy. These are fabulous for cleaning your stamps. It's my favorite way. I don't think we've ever had a stamp cleaner that's been as amazing as the chamois. I don't quite understand how it works, but it does. And when things work, I just don't ask a lot of questions. See, that's why I don't know all the medical things. Because I have always been pretty healthy and haven't had to deal with a lot of them. And... Everything works. I don't need to ask a lot of questions, right? I think that's where my mentality comes from. Okay, this next card, we're going to be using the Shaded Spruce. And then here is that beautiful green ribbon. Now you get both of these in the kit class that I'm doing. And this is called All the Trimmings Ribbon Combo Pack. Hang on a second. I got garbage in my basket. I don't want to throw things away. All right, next, next up, I have a fun fold for you. And this is actually, you know, I do a lot of card swapping. So I get a lot of swap cards in the mail, and I get a lot of really great ideas from those card swaps. And this is an idea that came from a card swap, a card using a totally different stamp set or bundle of products and I used this one with it and I and I love being able to do that because that's how we get our creative juices flowing right okay next up we have shaded spruce that's four and a quarter by five and a half so this is a full quarter sheet of eight and a half by eleven then we have whisper white that's four by five and a quarter and let's see, I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. And I'm going to take my Shaded Spruce and I'm going to grab 
my little holly leaves. Yeah, I think that's what they're called, right? Holly? Holly or ivy? I th whatever. They, I think they could be both, right? Okay, I'm going to use my shaded spruce and I'm going to stamp a leaf right there. Look how nice and pretty and solid that image is. And then I'm going to do just another one right there. Woohoo! Winning! <laughs> and then... We've got these three little dots for the berries. I'm going to stamp those on a scrap. And you may say, well, why put that on a scrap? Well, here's why. When I stamped them directly over the berries, oh, look, I got red all over. I didn't like them as well as I think I'm going to like them if I die cut them. So where's my dies? Right here. There's a little die in here that cuts out those three little berries. So I'm gonna die cut those. And the other thing we're gonna do is we have a scrap of cherry cobbler and we're going to, there's all kinds of little bits and pieces in here to die cut stuff. We're going to do this. I wondered why there was a solid candy cane in here and um, it's so you could die cut like the background color behind the detailed one. I figured that out all on my own. <laughs> Sometimes I get to things the hard way and I think that was one of those times. So we're gonna die cut the berries. We're gonna die cut two candy canes and I think we're ready to roll there. So hang tight because you guys know that I have already done that, right? There's nothing fancy about this. Here we go, there's our little bits and pieces. Okay, so we're gonna set those over here. And the other thing that I have, some more layers here. Die cut, die cut, we've already done that. Here is a piece of Whisper White. And remember, all of these dimensions I will put above the video when we're done being live here. And, oh, <laughs> color your ribbon, thank you so much, <laughs> Brent. I did it again, didn't I? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna color our ribbon. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, squirrel. I'm just gonna take the length of ribbon here and we're gonna color it with the Shaded Spruce Dark Stampin' Blend Marker. And now look at, you can see the color difference. Look at how different it is. I hope that shows up good in the light. So we've made it very dark and it's otherwise pretty much olive. Old olive. <laughs> so thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough ribbon here curled or curled, colored, so that I can make a decent bow. I think I might do just a little bit more here. I thought I wrote down how much I needed, but apparently I did not. Um, lid. Okay, now we're good. We're gonna just cut that off. We're gonna let that dry. Whew, thank you so much, you guys, that were telling me. I just saw where Brent said, color your ribbon. Okay, oh, where was I? Cherry cobbler, two and a half by four. And then I'm gonna use this cute little candy cane printed paper. It looks like this on the back. This is two and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And we're gonna add that right to the front of this little panel. You're gonna get a very small, tiny little border here. And now see, um, this is how I'm gonna do this Vicky. I'm gonna move it just a little bit. I can slide it around a little bit. And now that I can see all my borders are even. So liquid glue and make sure your cardstock is cut straight. This little piece is the same as our cherry cobbler. This is going to be two and a half by four. And I've got two different things going on here. I was gonna stamp on this, but instead I'm just gonna put a little slip of the designer paper. This is half inch by two and a half. And then I'll show you the other card that I made where I stamped on this little white layer. And see now I'm kind of holding it up and I'm gonna slide it around a little bit while that glue is still wet because it wasn't straight. And now it is. Yay! Okay, shaded spruce two and three quarters by eight and a half. We're going to bring in our paper trimmer here and we're gonna score this at four and a quarter. 
just like that. Fold that in half. Burnish that edge good. And now we can start putting these little buggers together. This is going to go right on here. And again, you guys, I'm looking at the left and the top and making sure that that's straight and then the rest should just kind of fall into place here. Slide it around a little bit if you need to. It looks like I'm a little far on that end. Looks great, right? This piece goes, oops, hang on. This piece goes in the middle of this. There we go. And, oh Lord, oh here, I was like, oh Lord, where did my little bits and pieces go? I'm going to take my berries and we're going to put those right down in here, just like that. We're going to take this layer and we're going to add it to our four and a quarter by five and a half inch shaded spruce layer. Okay. This one is going to go right on the front. Super easy. This is like a super easy fun fold. I love this fun fold. And you just match it up with the top. Put it right on there. Okay. Here's our fun fold. Woohoo! What do you guys think? Fun. Lola says, thank you for getting the layers on the card, sharing getting the layers on. You're very welcome. That's how I just always have done it. And um, it, it seems to work pretty good because my cards aren't usually crooked. So that's good, right? Where did my, here's a little scratch. So now I'm going to pull out my heart punches. And I'm going to punch a white heart. And then we've got a scrap of cherry cobbler and I'm gonna use the scallop. So we've got layering hearts here. We've got a scallop and then just a regular without a scallop. We're just gonna glue those together. Layer them. This is a great thing to put on your Christmas list if you don't have it, which reminds me, you guys, I do have gift certificates in any denomination, you can send your friends and family my way and they can purchase a gift certificate for you and you can get whatever you want for Christmas. So keep that in mind. Okay, then I'm gonna take these two little cutie patooties. Now, when you die cut it, the front of your die, you know you can always feel which is the front, which is the back. Your, your um, candy canes go this way. But you can't really tell if you drop one upside down and now we have them going opposite ways, which I thought would be super cute on the heart. Where's my take your pick? Here we go. And I found that the best way to put these on is with a mini glue dot. So I'm just going to add a mini glue dot right there. And I'm gonna put this right here and you can kind of look at your candy cane it kind of the curve part of it goes right into the curve on the heart and then the easiest way to do your next mini glue dot is right over the last one right there in the middle Let's see if I can get it to stay and then this makes it easy for you to get those perfectly placed on that heart right all right next our ribbon that we colored we're going to take this and sometimes when you color your ribbon with the alcohol, it gets a little stiff. Just run it through your bone folder like your curling ribbon and then it's not stiff anymore. I think the alcohol when it dries makes it stiff. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what happens. And I know that all of my medical people out there are probably going, yep, Kelly, that's what does it because you know all the medical things about rubbing alcohol or alcohol. I don't know if it's actually rubbing alcohol. Probably. Who knows? Anywho. Let's see if I can tie a bow. <laughs> Here we go. Sometimes bows could be the hardest part. I should get my bow jig out, but I'm just being lazy. There we go. I want just a tiny, tiny little bow here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Look at how cute it is. I love a cute bow. Okay, 
We're going to trim this up a little bit. And another mini glue dot. I just found that these were the easiest way. You don't have to deal with any glue oozing out any place. They worked really good for this whole little deal I'm doing here. We're going to put that right in the middle of our heart. We're going to glue this whoops, on the front of our card. I've got a bunch of mail to share with you guys, too, when we're done making cards tonight. So I hope you'll stick around for that. All right, next, we need something like this is missing some stuff, right? So what we're going to do, let's close this up. We are going to get out our Versamark. And I'm going to use the cute little sentiment saying that says, wishing you the sweetest season. And Versamark ink right on here. I'm going to stamp this pretty close to the bottom of my layer. That's just going to eliminate some cutting for me. You'll figure it out if you make this card because you're like, oh, why didn't I just stamp that closer to the bottom? Because that's what I did earlier today. At least the ribbon won't get drunk, Margaret. You're funny. <laughs> right. Nobody needs none of that drunk ribbon. And we're going to put this on here. It's white embossing powder. Whoops, I kind of flicked some off. There we go. And we're going to heat set that. And I've already made two of them. Just so we could spare the time of heating the embossing powder. You guys all know how to use a heat gun, right? Okay. Now, I was looking for my little guillotine cutter that we got back during celebration, right? And I can't find it any place. I'm not sure what happened to it. I have no idea. And it made me really mad because I cleaned my office up and this is what happens. If you clean your office, you can't find anything. I do have to tell you guys, my office is still fairly clean, so that's really impressive. So I'm going to just put this in my paper trimmer. I'm kind of looking at my channel here. You could certainly cut this with your scissors, but for this long one, I think we're going to be better off with the paper trimmer. And I'm going to see if I can do a decent job on this. Let's see. Nope. And I did it twice just in case I messed up so I wouldn't have to do it again. So you only need one of these, just so you're aware. But I made two of them because, you know, what if I screw up? Okay, that turned out really good, right? Now, with this other little piece here, sometimes the sentiment greetings that we need or use or are in a set aren't the right size, right? So, one thing you can do is you can cut them into little, like, rectangles. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to trim this up a little bit because this is looking just a little bit wider than I needed. And here comes the U the wishing. Okay, we've got you, the, and wishing. Looks good. Then we're going to grab mini dimensionals. Now, mini dimensional may fit on here and it may not, but I'm just going to cut some little strips and that's going to perfectly fill up what I need. And then the easiest way to adhere those little or get those little strips onto your layer is with your take your pick tool. So here's my wishing. This one's a little bigger. It probably could have handled a mini dimensional, but I'm just gonna stick with this because I know it's gonna work. Melanie says her guillotine cutter is still in Wisconsin. Bet it's cold. I bet it's cold too. And lonely, Melanie, lonely. <laughs> what kind of a guillotine cutter mother are you that you would leave it at home <laughs> oh my goodness okay there we go all right so now this piece right here we're going to take this and we're going to trim it up too this is just another kind of interesting way to put a sentiment on the front of a card I didn't want a great big label that had all of the stuff in it but if I trim this down and make it a bunch of little pieces it's gonna go better so here comes our card oh teeny weeny little strip this is just a strip of cherry cobbler it's less than a quarter inch okay we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it behind 
our sweetest season that's embossed here. And I was kind of like really into the whole angle thing. You know, the last card I made also had angle on it. So, whoops, that keeps getting in my way, doesn't it? I'm just going to take this and cut it off like that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, just like that. What do you guys think? Isn't that kind of just interesting? And then we're going to come in with some regular size dimensionals because I think this will handle it. Yep. Oh, don't put them out too far to the sides. You want to move them in just a little bit. Okay. We're going to put this on here first. Oh, Mary Lynn says that her 18-year-old grandson fell in love with her mini trimmer and now he has it in Missouri with him. <laughs> That's awesome. Go, grandson. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put that right there. And then, let's see if I can get the backings off of these. Come on, you little bugger. This one is the... Wishing. Yep, this is the bigger one. Whoops. That's kind of fun just to piece these little words in here like this. And I think it's just kind of a really charming look. Put this right over, maybe that right here. And one more. Wishing you. Notice how I'm using that take your pick tool for placement. That just works really good. What do you guys think? Is that not the cutest? The cutest. Okay, and don't forget to make yourself a matching little envelope. Okay, super easy fun fold. All of these dimensions are going to be on my Facebook page. Also, I got my blog post ready to I just have to drop the video into it tonight. So again, trying to keep my in a row because watching Little Miss Val is super important tomorrow, and I didn't want to screw that up for Haley. So I've got all my eggs in a row so I can get this done and out fast today. Um oh I know, I was gonna show you. So we've got a little strip of the designer paper here, right? And then here I use the little candy, the peppermint candy. To stamp on the inside so you can decide which one you like better which one you want to do but aren't those just precious so we've got this then the card that I made and shared with you last week is this one and isn't that spectacular how fun is that with that red foil paper I use the little hippos dies for my sentiment layers and then some of the red wonderful gems and a foil candy cane and a foil candy here and then here is our last, or our first card that we made. Another fantastic idea. Again, this is called Sweetest Time. It's in the Holiday Mini Catalog. When you get the stamp set and the dies together, you save 10%. You can also, depending on where you live, you can save on your um, tax and shipping because if you order the kit from me with the bundle in it, I will ship it to you. So my tax is only 5% here. Yeah. And so sometimes that can save a lot of money too. So there we go. Oh, where's my other die here, you guys? Here it is. Okay. Still got some red bits in it. I'm going to do something I never do, which is just put it back in here so I don't lose anything. And all of the information for that kit class can be found on my blog www.astampabove.com and please know that I always appreciate share my video comment so you get entered um, you'll get entered for sharing to win prizes and I always appreciate your orders that's what keeps all the free videos coming to you and keeps me in business I want to talk a little bit about next week next week should not be an issue I will be Facebook living it at 7 p.m. Central Time on the 25th of October. However, I'm not sure. Oh, and then we have the 1st of November. I'll still be here for that. So way out on the 8th, I'm not sure if I'm going to be live or not. We'll have to see what our schedule brings. 
But I have some beautiful mail that I want to share with you. So hang tight and I will grab that. Let me get some of this cleaned up so I'm not spilling and falling and doing all the things, right? I don't want to get mess up my cards that I made here. Here we go. What are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I've got? Strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. mm. And guess what? Not only did my Halloween earrings break, my bat wing fell off, but I am completely out of candy corn. <laughs> I didn't even know how that could happen in my life. Completely out of candy corn, but I do have apple crisp, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, here comes my mail. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Here we go. So, one of my team members dropped off some Halloween cards last night. And I just had to show these to you. Look at this. Is this not the coolest thing? So, she's got some, like, what do you call that? Tool. She's got some tool. And I see Connie says, Kelly's classes are great. Order the kit. Thank you so much, Connie. You are always so sweet. Sherry's having um, iced tea. Lori's drinking water. Linda's got wine. I know water's good for you, Lori. And some people like water. Not so much me. Um, look at that. Look at how cool that is. So she put tool in between these for a shaker effect. I love this. Let's see. Is this a different one? This is a little bit different. We have a black bat in here and a little bit different on the inside. This is from Kathy Shaning. Very, very cool. Yes. Isn't that neat? Love these, Kathy. Thank you so much. They're so cool. Next, we got a card from none other than Tanner Smedley. Tanner works for Stampin' Up. And um, I thought this card was really cool. He did a nice job on it. Thanks so much for all that you did to make Leader Summit an incredible event. We are blessed to have you as part of our Stampin' Up! family. Isn't that pretty? It's simple. I'm pretty sure this is a kit. And I have to investigate which one. Do you guys know which kit it is? Because it is really pretty. I love the colors. And I love this designer paper, which is probably a die-cut banner that comes in the kit, right? I don't even know which one this is. <gasps> Nancy has Starbucks chai tea. Nancy, I love chai tea. Mm. My mom made me up a jar of powdered chai, like a big jar of it, and gave it to me for Christmas one year. Oh, I just like, I enjoyed that for like six months. But then, yeah, chai tea isn't really, it's got a lot of calories. <laughs> but I did love it. Okay, so anyways, I was a presenter at the Leadership Summit that Stampin' Up! had back in, I don't know, September or October. So Tanner was sending me a thank you, which was really nice. Then we got this cool card from Suzanne Scott. And I'm pretty sure Suzanne is watching here. I think I saw your name here. Tanya says, gorgeous cards. Yes, everyone, take Kelly's classes. Thank you so much. Chai tea pumpkin. Has anyone tried it? Melanie wants to know. Oh, some pumpkin spice. Mmm. Okay, so anyways, back to Suzanne Scott's card. Look at how cool this is. <gasps> Look at that. Yay. Suzanne's card says, congratulations on a whole new level of wonderful. Thank you so much, Suzanne. This is the coolest card, right? Oh, and then on the back is where she wrote, congratulations on your million. What a wonderful achievement. You certainly deserve it. Also, thank you for your wonderful videos that you keep us all inspired with. God bless. Isn't that cool? I like this. It's got some origami folding going on here. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you, Suzanne. Then we have Judith Rodriguez. Judith is just a wonderful addition to my team. Um, Judith has volunteered. She's done demonstrations. She does all kinds of stuff for our team. She is way out in um, Monterey Park, California. And look at this pretty card. Sending well wishes your way. So happy to see you're almost back to 100% you. I think I'm pretty, I'm at 99.8 right now. So we're getting there. Also wanted to thank you for recognizing me. Oh, recognizing all the work teachers do. Judith is a teacher. She said she's been teaching 15 years. This year has definitely been the most challenging. 
sleeping less, working more, and less family time. It's been horrendous. Much love to you and your family from an overworked, underpaid teacher. And isn't that the truth? Um, Haley also has been putting in a lot of hours. Um, her time at night after she's done meeting virtually um, with the kids is spent doing lesson plans and trying to get ready for all the virtual that has to take place the next day. So God bless our teachers. Like you guys hang in there and I know this is tough and I really feel that a lot of kids are going to get behind, but you know, it is what it is and they're just going to have to make it up and hopefully <laughs> kids can get caught up. I know Molly struggles. She's struggling with the whole virtual thing. She really needs to be in a classroom setting where she can, her attention can be kept. So we've been having her over here a couple times a week to, I think it's, there's less going on here and we can kind of keep her focused on her schoolwork, but bless you, all the teachers, all the teachers, teachers, all the nurses, all of our essential workers, bless you. I don't know. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do it without you. Hi, Margaret Binney. I haven't seen you in a long time. I miss you. Okay. This beautiful card is from Donna Bradford and look at how pretty that is on the inside. I love this. This is um, one of the Million Dollar Achievers, Leanne Greff. This is her design, her stamp set, and I just love it. I do have it. I haven't used it yet. I need to get it out, right? Yeah. Don't forget to check with me on getting into my VIP group because um, I'll be doing some special classes in there. Like I want to do kind of a little gift, gift card series, and then I'm posting a card in there I think tomorrow that's got kind of a neat little technique to it. And I think I'm going to come on live and make that card in the VIP group. So if you're not in there, please go check it out. The name of the group is a stamp above VIP apostrophe S. If you can't get into that group and you think you should be in there because you have placed an order in my online store or ordered the bundle with one of my online classes, contact me and I'll get you in there. Don't want to miss out on the fun stuff. Um, not that this isn't fun, of course. Okay. Um, da, 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 yeah, this is from Donna, and she wrote me a really nice letter congratulating me on my million-dollar milestone. And um, she just said some really gushing, sweet, nice stuff. And she said the first night that you were on live, you could tell you still weren't feeling yourself. I had a lot of people tell me that, and I didn't even realize it. Um, she goes, but when I saw you on September 27th, I said to myself, Kelly's back. <laughs> and she goes on to um, give me just a little bit insight into her and to thank me for all of the happy videos. I love happy, right? Happy is important. Beautiful, beautiful card, Donna. Thank you so much. Then we have this gorgeous card. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. Like, don't you love these colors? They're so rich and beautiful. This is from Jane Freeman, and she says, Thanks so much for the embossing folder from the team meeting. Jane won a door prize. You are more than generous. Please take good care of yourself. We can do without a couple of lives if it means you get better. So, and she cased this card from Stampin' in the Meadow. This is so pretty. I love it. Thank you so much, Jane. Then we have this cutie patootie. This is from Lois Fairherm at Fireherm. I think I said that right, Lois Fairherm. Um, how cute is this? It says, thank you for all the inspiration. Your videos, videos are wonderful. To a friend that makes us, me smile. Yes, to a friend that makes me smile. Isn't that cute? Absolutely adorable. Thank you, Lois. Then we have another pumpkin-y card. This is from Leanne. Oops, hang on, let me see if I can get it open. Leanne White. Look at how cute that is. This uses that um, pumpkin apple punch. I can't remember what it's called, but I've got it over on the side over there. I need to get that out and use it, don't I? And the hammered metal. I love this. Just a quick note to let you know how much I enjoy watching your videos and hearing about your adventures. I've learned so many new techniques and ideas to up my card making game. That's what it's all about, right? Encloses my rewards form. Oh, there you go. Um, Leanne is in my online technique club and she just submitted her rewards form because she completed six months in the club and now she gets a $30 product credit. 
Um, if you want any information on that, that's also on my blog in the right-hand column under Online Technique Club. And then, look at how pretty this is. This is from Wendy. Yep, Wendy Morse. Look at how gorgeous that is. So she made shakers. Look at the sequins running through there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this. It says, just a note, just a note to tell you that I'm amazed that you still did your, did your Facebook lives <laughs> Sunday night considering your, your situation. I work in a dental office, so I actually thought you had been to the dentist. I'm praying for your health recovery. Thank you for continuing to make us happy, laugh, and tons of creativity. <laughs> You're a true delight. Thank you, Wendy. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I look so lopsided. All right, then we have Pam Phillips. And Pam made this beautiful card. It got a little bent here in the corner, but look at how pretty this is. Look, just beautiful, right? I love that lace. And then this is gorgeous. I love what you did here, Pam. It's so pretty. She left it blank so I can use it, which I always appreciate. And she's also submitting her Technique Club rewards. She says, thank you for all you do for your team and especially for encouraging us. Here's my Technique Club list. That is a lot of work for you and I appreciate every card. I love the new Technique. So she also got herself a $30 product credit. And then we have Cheryl Hall. Look at how pretty the colors again. This is Mango Melody with Rich Razzleberry. And can I just say, delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is from Cheryl Hall. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. I am grateful for stamping up friends like you. I feel, let's see. I feel I know you from all your videos. You do so much to teach us about card making and entertaining your viewers. Stay safe and well. Paper hugs, Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you so much. This is just so, so pretty. I love these colors. I love them. And next, look at this. This is from Karen Devin from Colleen, Texas. So glad we're such ghoul friends. And look at all that bling, bling, bling. This is adorable. Have a happy, have a spectacular Halloween. Thank you so much. I love Halloween. Love it. And then we have this beauty. Look at how pretty this is. So I have a drop box on my front porch for um, local customers that they can drop anything in there that they need to. If they need to give me money for their orders or place their order form in there or whatever, they can drop it in there. Well, I haven't opened it in a long time, except that Kathy dropped off those Halloween cards last night. So I went out there and opened it, and this beautiful card was in there. And Heather Kohler, I know Heather is out west right now. She um, is on a little trip, but I'm sure she'll see this when she gets home. She made this beautiful card for me, and I think it's just gorgeous. And it says, thank you for letting me borrow the high seas embossing folder and also placing an order for me. So she wanted the high seas embossing folder and didn't have it. So I let her use mine and then she ordered it. Perfect, right? Boom, boom. But how pretty. So thank you so much, Heather. I really appreciate that. All right, guys, I'm going to flip you around. And uh, Becky says, the gratitude card with the foil leaves is talking to me. It's lovely. It is really pretty, isn't it? Hang tight if you get motion sickness. Here we go. Yay. Hopefully I don't touch anything to mess it all up. I did it. Yay. Winning. <laughs> all right, you guys. I hope I didn't miss. Um, okay, Chris says, Kelly, I'm not sure. Hang on. How to get to the VIP group. Is that on Facebook or what? Yes, it is. And you're going to type in a stamp above VIP apostrophe S and there's a group for that. Now something should pop up I think that then says oh a stamp above VIPs and if you touch that and it doesn't go any place that means you're not in the group and you need to contact me if you should be in the group so I can get you in there. Yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun in there. I think I'm also gonna start doing um, some maybe some challenges some weekly giveaways. I've got a whole bunch of stuff running through this crazy head. For those of you that are on my team, I sent out an email this morning. If you are registered for the Stampin' Up! On Stage at Home event that is in the first part of November, look for your email if you're on my team. 
sent out an email. We're going to be starting a Facebook group just for the onstage at home attendees. This is usually an event that Stampin' Up! holds somewheres across the country. I think this fall it was scheduled for Salt Lake, but of course nothing's happening in real life. So we're going to do it virtually. And I have a special Facebook group for my team members that'll be attending that where we're going to do um, a card swap. We're going to have some lives in there from some of the leaders in our groups. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you look for that email if you're on my team. All right. Yeah, my smile, you guys. Look, it's almost back to normal. And somebody else told me that I should be massaging my ear like right here because they said that um, you don't want your muscles to atrophy and I'm like I don't know exactly what that means I was telling Steve this morning I don't know exactly what atrophy means but I'm thinking that if you don't want your muscles to like not work anymore and he goes yeah that's what I mean <laughs> I don't know but anyway so I've been doing that and I can tell you this morning my lip was numb and now it's not. So um, it is getting all better. Smiling. Blinking. <laughs> I could wink that eye kind of before I couldn't even wink it. <laughs> what a mess. Right? Uh, does the DSP samplers count for the VIP? They do not. Because that's not a product order. But thank you for asking, Cindy. And what else did I miss here? Tanya, what a terrific time tonight with such beautiful cards. Aw, thank you. Tanya says, stay safe and healthy, everyone. Yes, please stay safe and healthy. Um, you know, I, I, I did a video chat with my doctor where she made me come up really close to the screen and she made me put my eyebrows up and down so she could see the wrinkles in my, in my forehead to check and see, you know, the whole face deal going on. But um, I talked to her about the COVID because I've had a few of you tell me that you have had people that you know who tested positive, they were sick, tested positive, then they tested negative, then they tested positive again because they got the COVID a second time around. <clears throat> Information coming from my doctor is that not so much. So... I don't know. I don't want to give out any false information, but she said, yeah, not so much. Oh, Denise just asked, how is your mom doing? How can I forget to tell you guys about my mom? I talked to my mom tonight as soon as I got out of the shower. I took a nap, got out of the shower, called mom, and she is doing so much better. Oh, atrophy means to waste away. Okay, well, there you go. Thank you very much, Judy. <laughs> um, my mom actually went out and repotted some of her outdoor plants yesterday boom that's huge right because she was you know this fatigue is just ugh. and she also went for a walk yesterday and she made breakfast this morning for all the little kitties because my sister and her kids live there and she's doing fantastic much much better so thank you so much for asking I can't believe I forgot to give you a mom update right she's doing good so she has turned the corner and she was sick for about two weeks also so um, almost as long as I was in bed, right? So, yeah, I'm glad to hear her. She sounds so much better. Like, So my mom is one that never wants to get off the phone when I call her, which is super cute, right? But um, I, as I've been calling her over the last two weeks, um, she would, you know, we'd chat a little bit, and she'd talk, and I'd ask her how she was doing, and she'd say, well, I'm getting better. But then, like, three minutes later, she'd go, well, I don't have anything else to say. And I'm like, you're not getting better. I know you better than that mother. Because <laughs> she's chatty Kathy. I don't know where I get that from. <laughs> anyway, so she is feeling really better. Deb, I gave a whole update on John. Make sure you listen to the very beginning of this and you'll catch up on the John goings on and other things in our neighborhood. Oh, and I have to tell you guys something funny. So I don't have the curtains really up in my new bedroom yet, but I did put all my clothes into that fancy closet. And today, when I got out of the shower, I had a bra on, thank goodness. And I went walking down the hall, went right into my bedroom, because the shades in our bedroom, before we got it remodeled, were all always closed. I go walking right into my bedroom, flip the light on, go into my closet, stand there. What am I going to wear tonight? Standing in my bra, and all our neighbors can see right across the street. <laughs> I'm going to have to work on that shade thing, right? I got to get those curtains up and get that figured out so that I'm not running around giving the neighbors a big show. I'll be the next talk of the neighborhood. <laughs> 
Yeah, Janice says the sequel of COVID can be very diverse. Yeah, I know. We just, there's so much you don't know about it, right? Yeah, Chris says the cards helped her feel better. The Green Bay Packers lost. I know I watched most of that game. Ugh. They started out so strong and then they just fell apart, right? Mm. Aaron was not on his best game. Oh, Cindy, did you see any deer? Cindy was hunting tonight. She's my friend from um, where I go hunting, up by my mom's house, and she's also one of my team members. But we went out to lunch the other day, which was really nice. It was so good to catch up with her. And she goes out bow hunting every afternoon, and then we Snapchat back and forth. <laughs> so by the time it gets dark, our phones are dead. <laughs> yeah, John will be talking about me. I wonder what John would say about Kelly next door. Probably that she's a little crazy. Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I've got pizza. He brought me pizza, which is cold, right? It's the thought that counts. I've got a little bit of pizza here to eat. And I'm going to get the dimensions and everything loaded up right away. I'll get my blog post out. Get that video up on there so that if you need to rewatch anything, you can always do it on Facebook. But um, you'll also be able to go to my my blog, www.astampabove.com, is my landing page, okay? That's where you can go to for Kelly and find all the things. The online technique club, the online ordering button, the um, join my team, be a discount shopper, the online classes, all of my blog posts, pictures, videos, it's all right there. That's my landing page. So you can always check in there. Cindy saw six does. She sees a lot of does where she hunts. I know there's going to be a buck there someplace. My mom told me that my brother saw three bucks the other night. And Steve saw one buck when he was up north. And Kelly saw sheep jumping over fences in her sleep. I did get a lot of sleep, I'm not going to lie, and it was wonderful. We stayed in our summer home because my mom has the COVID, and, you know, Steve probably had it, but he never got tested, so we don't really know, so we got to be careful with that. But um, we stayed in our summer home, and can I just say I loved it? It was so quiet and peaceful and snuggly, warm. We have, a, like, a little tower space here that heats the whole thing up. We ate in there. Steve made me grilled cheese sandwich and soup and what else we took something that he cooked up there oh we got some macaroni and cheese from costco have you guys tried that amazing it's delightful anyways thank you rhonda rhonda says praying for your full recovery it's coming i'm gonna keep rubbing the muscles right make my face come back to life and you know what there's a lot worse things going on than this little thing with my face and my eyes, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Watch for my tip video coming out on Wednesday. I've also got a blog hop that goes live on Tuesday. We're going to be featuring Halloween treats. Yay! And I'm sure I'll have a blog post video on Friday and lives in my VIP group, So, or at least one. I'll see what I can do. Bye-bye, you guys. Happy Sunday.